Hi, my name is David Welch. I'm coming to you from Brothers Tech Center every single Tuesday. Today we've got Steve's Blazer in here. We're going to do a little bit of maintenance on it. One of the problems we got is this large hissing noise that you can hear. Now that's coming from our booster. There's a rubber diaphragm in there that'll crack and break over the years. Now how we're going to diagnose that is we just disconnect this backing line, put our thumb over it, and now all the noise is gone. So we know our booster's bad. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the booster, why it's there, problems you might run into, and why you may want to replace them. Stay tuned, you hear? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this plate off of the bottom because we're going to disconnect the um, rod that goes into the booster and we want to want to get it off first so that when we got our booster all unbolted it'll slide right on out for us nice and neat like. So we're going to get this plate off here for you and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so then right up in here you'll see the push rod right here for the brakes and this is a cotter pin on the nut so we'll take this cotter pin off first then we'll be able to take our nut off and then our push rod will be free now when you're taking the bolt off of the brake arm it's not going to come out all the way because the steering column is in the way so what you're going to have to do is uh, loosen up the booster pull it forward a little bit and then press on the brake pedal till it clears the steering column and then you can take it out of the way now you can drop the steering column too it's just i don't want to so i'm going to do it this way so pulling this off the outside pretty self-explanatory really it's just four bolts in the back right here holding it on you've got this brace at the top on the back and there's a brace on the bottom that comes here to the front so we're just going to go ahead and get all of those loosened first because sometimes you're going to run into a rusty bolt so if you get all of these off and then one bolt is hanging you up you're going to have a trouble with everything flopping around so loosen everybody up and then take the bolts off you'll be taking your bottom bolts off first so it won't hang down on you and taking your support bolts off first so it goes a little bit something like this So our kit comes with a master cylinder bleeder kit. We don't need it for this one because our master cylinder is still good. But if you're going to be taking care of your master cylinder, we're taking care of you with that kit. Also comes with some extra nuts and bolts and such because sometimes on some of the year trucks, these are missing or rusted out or something. So we've got you covered there too. There's a little rubber uh, piece that goes right in here. And yours, I'm going to guess, is all torn up and probably missing so go ahead and install this before you put your booster back in now I'm getting ready to install my booster and the brake pedal is right where I like it so I want to make sure it stays there how I'm gonna make sure it stays there is simply by measuring this push rod right here from the back of this plate to the center of this hole right here in this case we're looking at about eight and a quarter so I'll do the same thing on this one get it at eight and a quarter but I can't install this big fat thing into the small hole that's in our little rubber boot there. So I'm going to go ahead and take a magic marker and I'm going to mark this really good where the end of the bolt is. Then I'll have to take all this off and then go into the um, small hole of that little rubber and we're ready to rock. Okay, 
So now I'm just going to put a nut on here momentarily until I put on the um, clevis pin on the other side. And then I'll get it all set up because I might have to pull this out so we can get that bolt in there. Let's find out. Now before we put the master cylinder on, we got to check out these push rods that fit right into here. Our kit comes with two, one's short and one's long. So take off your master cylinder, see what the old booster had in there, short or long, and swap it out if necessary. Ours came with a long, so we're going to take this short one out. Here you can compare the two. Now I'll put the longer one in. And we look just like the booster that came out. Now the master cylinder can go back on. Now one thing too, double check and make sure your master cylinder is not leaking from the back end right here. If it leaks, it's going to destroy the booster in no time at all. Now you might be asking Dave, why are you putting this master cylinder back on? Because I've double checked it, it's not leaking. And I put it on not that long ago, even though it looks like it's pretty old. So assembly, just like your disassembly, you're just going to go ahead and bolt it back on, make sure we're getting our support rods on, and then we're going to double check our pedal on the inside. We want to make sure that we've got it in the right location. It can't be up too high and have residual pressure on the system or it can actually automatically apply the brakes for you per se. You can't have it too low or your brake lights are going to stay on. So double check all of those things. Make sure you got the pedal right where you want it. Normally you have it at the top and just putting a slight amount of pressure go down about three quarters of an inch before it starts to apply the brakes or anything. Now let's take a look at the inside of our booster and see why it went bad. These are all the miscellaneous things you'll find inside, but the ticket to this is this rubber diaphragm right here. Now what's happening is, is that the vacuum that's coming from this inlet right here, it's going to take this and pull it forward and that just makes it easier for you to break because you got assist on there. Um, the rubber boot on the back right here it's just going to get old and tired and sooner or later it's going to leak. So if you're getting a hissing noise or if you're getting a really hard pedal doesn't feel like you got a booster at all more than likely this is going to be your problem. So just go ahead and get online or uh, check out our catalog see which booster you like there are several different choices I've got a good video on that you really should subscribe and check that out and you should subscribe just to be on the safe side because I'm going to be making another video for you guys on Tuesday you're gonna want to see that one too I absolutely guarantee it we're also on Facebook and Instagram because everybody else is too we'll see you next Tuesday peace out